Tate, obviously last year against Texas, it was oh, okay. not the greatest showing by so you like guys. Is there like any extra emphasis or any added motivation to trying to avenge that loss from last year? Uh, we try not to. You know, it was a tough loss last year, and I don't think um, any phase of the game played their best last year. And it's tough because that was our last game of the season last year, right? And so to go out in a season like that, it, it hurt us all. I'm happy we had the bowl game to bounce back from that. But um, we try to just treat every game like the game at last. You know, we can't look too far ahead of the season, and we can't look back on this win last week. I just treat Texas like every other team and attack it day by day and, and hopefully have the same result as last week. And I asked Coach Kleiman about this uh, during his press conference, mm -hmm. but with, when Adrian comes in the locker room and says that he's not 100% but he can go if needed, what does that kind of say about him as a teammate just to let everybody know I can do it but I'm not, I'm, he's just being honest? Yeah, no, I mean, I think it shows first and foremost that he's tough as hell. You know, he's not 100% um, and he would have gone out there and fought every play and to the last minute this last game if he could have you know and I think that um, it speaks volumes to those two guys Will and Adrian about their leadership and their composure you know I mean I was talking I think I told the media last week but I didn't know Adrian wasn't going to play until about 30 minutes before the game when I asked him he's like ah, you know I don't really know I'm, I'm going to see how I feel you know and so Will came out there and no one blinked an eye went out there and balled out you know what I mean and so um, it speaks kudos to both those guys and the rest of this team having confidence in everyone else. And is there any kind of challenge of trying to put last week behind you to make sure you don't kind of have a letdown this week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a 24-hour host. So we have 24 hours to either celebrate a win or feel bad about yourself after a loss. And so those 24 hours are up, and we're on to the next team. How much confidence has this team accrued over the course of the season? Yeah, I think it's growing every single week. Um, I talked to people after TCU, too, and even after, though that game didn't end the way we wanted it to, I think our confidence even grew after that. You know, TCU at the time was ranked, you know, 7, 8, or 9, whatever it was, and, and they were a good football team, and we had them. You know, we had them right there, and, and even when they came back and were ahead of us, we fought, and that's all we're going to do is keep fighting. And then to come out here and show what we did last week and, and put on a dominant performance in all three phases of the game, I think it's hard not to just build that confidence up and up you know I'm fine with confidence I don't want that confidence to hinder how we play and be overconfident you know I mean I don't want us to stay humble through that confidence so we can go out there and work every single day how much has the offensive efficiency grown through the season oh I think it's been incredible I think you've seen kind of the offense we can fully be throughout the season you know earlier in the year we didn't maybe throw the ball as well as we wanted to and we weren't as a complete offense as we are now you know to be able to run the ball like we do with Deuce and, and Beebs over there and, and have um, Gilly running faster than me on the screens and, and to have those guys up front and then to go out there and throw the ball deep and, and kind of have a complete complimentary offense I think speaks volumes to our progression throughout the season. Was this the most complete game you think you guys have played so far this year? Uh, yeah I think it's, it's the most complete game we've played all year so far I, I think there's, there's stuff we left on the table. I think there's a lot of stuff we left in the second half offensively that we wish we'd have back. You know, I think there's a lot of things when you look at the film, it's never as good as it looked or as bad as it looked. And so I think that so far that was our best 60, but it's not our best 60 that we're going to play the rest of the season. For yourself personally, it felt like after the game on Saturday, even when you were in here, just a little bit more confident. Does that feel like a breakout game? Does that feel like a game that can, can change your game moving forward, just the confidence level and you knowing that you can get to the end zone like that? Yeah, I mean, I think it, my confidence is growing every single week, but I've known who I am. Um, uh, for a couple of years now, you know, and so it's just now I'm getting these opportunities to show what I can do and, and to help this football team have success. And so my confidence, I try to keep it even keel like the rest of the team. Um, I can just build on top of that. Um, but I've been who I am for a while. And so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and be able to put our team in the best position to win. I wanted to ask you with your dad, obviously you. you don't want the family time to always be football talk, right? But obviously he does know everything there is to know about the game. So when you're talking to him, how much are you bouncing ideas off him or is he giving you things that he saw in your game that he thinks you can improve on or, or that he liked or stuff like that? Or are you kind of try to keep those two things separate? Yeah, I think if it wasn't for my mom, uh, it's all we talk about is football. And so God bless her and that she's able to go in there and say, hey, can we talk about anything else in the world? And so um, I love my mom for that. Uh, but yeah, whenever it's me and my dad and my little brother on the phone, that's about all we talk about is concepts we like, concepts we don't like, why we did something and why we don't do other things. And, and it's all we talk about is football. And so it's nice to have a break. Like I said, thank you, mom. Um, but besides that, I just talked about you, but besides that, um, that's all we talk about is ball. This is something I was uh, wondering the other day. What what uh, what do you want to do when football's over? What what job do you want to have in the future? Yeah, um, so I would obviously love to play football for as long as I can in any opportunity. That's kind of my dream, and it has been my dream for a while. And so I'm going to keep working for that. And then whenever that's over, I'm going to get right back into coaching. Um, I think there's a lot of things I have left to give to the game, even when I'm done playing. Um, I love the game of football. I love impacting these young men and, and giving them the best position to win mentally and physically. And I think I'll be a great football coach when I'm done playing. I think you mentioned last year 
the offense coordinator, you you actually would draw plays and mm -hmm. do that. Do you, do you do that with Coach Klein too? Or are you uh, are you kind of offering offering suggestions? And does he take you up on any? Of yeah, that? all the time. Uh, I was up there in the spring, probably every single day, drawing up new plays, or maybe it's just taking our plays we already have and finding little details to improve them, and and trying to find that little inch that we can make each and every play more efficient. And so yeah, I draw plays all the time for the quarterbacks every single week, and, and I'm constantly doing plays, but we can't just add a bunch of new plays every single week or no one know what we're doing and so <laughs> I just but I'm always watching film when I watch NFL games is all I do is try to find new concepts and new ways they attack and and all those things and so um, yeah I love the game and I'm gonna try to keep helping our team improve how long have you been doing that is this something since you were a kid or? Um, I would say I'm since I'm a kid but ever since high school um, my dad was my OC my junior and senior year um, and so being able to have him close to me and asking him why we're doing all these things and, and him not teaching how we do things but why I think transcends everything else I know about football is is it why we do stuff allows you to you know analyze your own plays and, and create new concepts and, and, and do the full uh, offensive coordinator kind of job and so I try my best to, to draw up new plays that work and stuff and so some do some don't but I'll get it right. So is offensive coordinator kind of your dream gig or? Uh, that's a good question I would love I think when I first got to college I didn't really know what I wanted to do and then uh, having the career I've had, I wanted to be a wide receiver coach, and then you know it kind of turned into OC, and and then now it's kind of turned into head coach. And so um, basically, any position I could be to help young men learn the game and be the best players they can be. And so maybe that's a head coach, maybe it's an OC. Um, I don't really know yet, honestly. I've asked a few guys this question, but we've, we've been talking about if uh, Cooper Beebe's poll on Twitter, of if a team full of all you or all yeah. Cooper Beebe would win. Do you want to you want to uh, maybe give us your case for for a victory there? Yeah. See, I think I'm taking that one because. Beavs is big, obviously, but I don't think he knows the game like I do. I don't think he could stop me on offense, and I think there's I can stop him once or twice, but at the very least, it comes down to special teams, and I'm winning that battle nine times out of ten. And so I think I'm winning that one most of the time. Obviously, Beavs doesn't think, though. He thinks he'll just run the ball down, but I'm stacking that box. I know not a single Cooper BB is beating any of me on any routes outside. And so um, I guess we'll never know, but I think I'm taking me on that one. It seems like you guys have maybe talked about this a time or two. It all starts. Well, I like to do questions of the day, and so like I'll ask a bunch of guys just like a random question of the day like yesterday was what was the best Star Wars song in all the sagas and so we just kind of talk about it and just grow and stuff and so it started in fall camp I asked who would win a team full of random Platners or a team full of Seth Porters because they have this little eternal struggle between them all the time they're always competing and so that turned into a team wide thing and everyone was giving them I don't think a single pe person picked Brandon but me um, but yeah so I just try to ask little things and so I asked Cooper that and Cooper obviously said himself and made a poll about it so <laughs> the poll was biased though because he posted it and so it didn't even matter I even said that a team full of Rams would be you and Cooper. Your thoughts on that? No, he didn't. Did he really say that? <laughs> he did. No, a team full of Rams isn't beating either. A team full of Rams, I think, could not even touch me or BB. But that's up to you to ask Rams about that one. He also said Rams was the least athletic of all the specialists. So yeah, and he's he gonna come and say, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And no, no chance. Thanks, Kate. Awesome. Thank you.